Hey, this is Christy, and today we will have a quick first look at uh, the new software called Audiate from TechSmith. This is a standalone program uh, that allows you to transcript audio or record audio you speak and then edit the audio with text as well as uh, make other changes to it like fix hesitations, fix little pauses, move text around and move audio around with the text. Let me demonstrate how it works. To start a recording, click the record button. Audiate will then capture everything you say and as you speak, you can see the words appearing on the screen. You will notice that there might be little mistakes here and there, such as um, breaks or pauses or um, a hesitations but you can just keep talking and it will recognize all of the text as you speak. If you import an audio file, it will process that file and convert it to text. Um, at the moment, it just works with English, apparently. I tried other languages, but it doesn't work. And as it is a new software, there might be still some bugs and uh, problems to sort out. But I really like how accurate the text recognition is and also the editing features that I can um, show you how they work. Um, I am intentionally hesitating and creating these little ums and breaks um, because it recognizes those. And as you can see, it just puts a dot where you have a um, hesitation. Okay, so I've stopped the text now. I've stopped the recording. And as you can see, uh, um, the software has recognized the text that I said. Of course, it has added no punctuation. And if you see, there are these lines here where you have breaks, there are little dashes. And where you see a purple dot, this is where you had a what they call an, a hesitation, like an um, ah, uh, all of that. So if you play it back, it can skip those if you want, or you can just click on them and either silence them or de um, delete them altogether. So if you press delete, it will just remove that and it will remove the, uh, um, the audio part as well. So if you click and play in there, such as breaks or pauses, right? So as you can hear, the um, breaks and pauses are still there because I haven't deleted them, but you can click on them to delete them like this. Click, delete, click, delete, click, delete, click, delete. And if you play it back now, you will see that they have completely gone, the audio and the text. Here and there, such as breaks or pauses or a... Okay, so if you need to make a correction, just click on the word and delete it. Or like you see, this one has been recognized incorrectly. Hesitations. So this one should be hesitations, not exhortations. So you can right click and you can either add a custom word here. I'm going to just say custom word because you can, I, I believe you can train it to recognize your voice before you start talking. So then it gets, it's actually getting better as you work with it. And also there is another function I really love. You can actually move the words around. You can cut and paste. And when you cut and paste a word, it brings the audio with it. So now if I play this, breaks or pauses or, but you can just keep hesitations. <laughs> so this is really cool because I don't know if there is another tool out there or I, have, I haven't found one yet that does this. Editing in line with your text and moving it maybe the transcode applications for Premiere or uh, Audition, maybe. Another function I really love is if you have all these dots here that are hesitations, which I have added in my audio on purpose, you can actually tell it to remove them all together in one go. So you can go to the edit menu and you just say either silence all hesitations, in which case it will just make them all silent,
but you will find yourself with some dead time or, or breaks or, or pauses in your audio if you do this because the space that was occupied by those hesitations is now silence and this is not really good if you are recording maybe screen recording or tutorials with maybe Camtasia or other software that needs to synchronize with the video or what is on the screen. So when you're doing this, if you delete all hesitations, it will compact the audio together, of course, because it will bring the audio forward to uh, where those breaks and hesitations were. So that's going to make your audio out of sync with your video. So you need to think about whether you want to do this or if you want to actually leave the breaks in there as pauses. So let's try silencing them first. I have silenced all the, the hesitation. So now if I play just breaks or pauses or but you can just keep hesitations talking and it will recognize. So as you can see, it just makes no sound when these breaks are. That may be a good idea if you need to keep your video in sync. So then you can go back into your video editing once you have saved this audio file and imported it back onto your timeline with your video. And then you can maybe cut the video where these silences are and just push them forward manually. But if you don't care about video uh, synchronizing with your audio, you can just go to the edit menu and say, delete all hesitations and look at this it they have all just disappeared all of the hesitations if you want to delete all the breaks I think you need to do this manually because it doesn't have a function to delete all silences so if I click and delete quickly some of these silences you will see the audio and the text automatically rearranging Okay, so now let's play this where there used to be pauses and hesitations there, such as breaks or pauses or but you can just keep hesitations talking and it will recognize all of the text as you speak. If you import an audio. So this is way better than the audio with hesitations. And of course, because you have the transcript, you can use it to create subtitles or captions. So this is a really nice and new tool. These, they have a subscription model for this. It just came out. So um, in my opinion, it is a little pricey for an application that does just one thing, transcribe and analyze audio. And uh, I haven't shown you this, but you can also import a WAV file and transcribe that and then work with it. Uh, so if you have recorded a video tutorial, you just export the audio from that, import it in here, do your work, save it back and put it back in. So that is nice. Of course, at the end, when you are done, you can export the audio, export the script. You can reprocess the audio if you think it has not uh, recognized it correctly. When you import an audio file, it will first spend a bit of time recognizing the text and then showing you the text. It's not doing it as you do it when you, you, when you speak. There's another function that you need to see. If you click this button here at the bottom, the waveform editor, you can see the audio file waveform that you have either spoken, recorded or imported. And you can move this cursor and you can see it at the top, it's following where the cursor is. Or if you're not sure which word is what, you just click on the word in the text and it will highlight that exact waveform for that word. So then you can change the word, silence it, delete it, or insert some silence and do whatever you need. So every word is separated on this waveform by a line. So this is a really nice and easy way to view, to visualize your waveform and your transcript. So I wish that they would add more languages to the audio recognition engine. And I know that is not very easy because it needs to have a, probably an AI model trained to recognize and that the way Google and Apple and Amazon do with their Alexas and, and voice recognition is because they have such a huge volume of voice 
data to analyze and learn and teach and train their systems. I don't know if TechSmith has this capability and of course this is a new application so it is only natural to have it in English at the moment but I am quite impressed with the uh, accuracy and the functionality that you get so seamlessly editing the text and the audio. I hope you've enjoyed this first look at Audiate. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my tutorials. See you next time.